learning how to use a micron gauge is not going to just happen overnight you're not going to learn it by just watching a video you're not going to learn it by reading a book or a manual or procedures it will take time you will make mistakes i just had a comment today uh from another channel that i made a comment on that you cannot use a micron gauge on a motor vehicle because it always shows up that the system is leaking right there that tells me that person does not know what they do they have no education they were never mentored they've never read they've never read understood instruction videos they had no guidance at all they tried to use an item that they had no core base knowledge of, of how to interpolate the data when you have people like this making comments about something they don't know, it gives the whole industry a bad name. Just because they're incapable of learning something doesn't mean somebody else is. And unfortunately, we have too many people who jump to conclusion when usually it's the technician who causes the problem themselves. In this situation right here, it's only by being exposed to readings over and over and over again that you'll start to see patterns. So on this one right here, as we're pulling vacuum, you can slowly see that we've been dipping under this line of 300. But if we go back, you could see we were up and over 300. And that was after like 10 minutes of pulling vacuum. And we're coming down here and our average is starting to get below and right on the 300 line with our intermittent purges every now and then but as this keeps going on through a time it'll keep going lower and lower and it'll have less little bumps those bumps are just outbursts of refrigerant that's trapped in oil or moisture that's trapped in oil or the hoses themselves it will eventually come out if you have all the time in the world but at least you can tell the difference between a leak and what is just moisture trapped in the system and that you need to read about uh, I have explained it in other videos, but uh, right now I'll go say go research it. That's all I got to say is that constant exposure to what a micron gauge is doing will let you know what's happening inside the system. That's it. I'll uh, sign off for here right now. I'm about to charge this um, Hyundai. It's going to take uh, 134, 550 grams. And I got to set up the rest of my sensors for temperature. I'll be going over it using the leak detector. This was a front end collision. They removed and replaced. Uh, they didn't replace it. They just removed the condenser to replace some sheet metal where the lines went through and then put the original condenser right back on. And so this is all the same parts. Uh, it's only exposure to the atmosphere was while it taken off and hopefully it was... Uh, taped up this shop is really good at plugging or taping up the ends to make sure nothing gets inside and uh, actually this is one of my favorite shops and this is a very good shop guys who work here are really lucky to work here because this is one of the few shops who didn't lay off all their technicians they took care of them through the shutdown and their production and their quality shows for it where other shops who laid off their guys are scrambling for workers and uh, are having some really big issues and problems. All right, guys, I'll see ya.